Yo, what is up, guys? It's what else, and today I'm back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get 60 FPS on console. Um, this is not going to be on PC or Xbox or PS4. I mean, this will only work on the Switch, and I don't think it works on the Nintendo Switch OLED. But the Nintendo Switch Lite, it's it's definitely not gonna work. I, I don't know about the other Nintendo Switch OLED. You could try these steps, but like, I'm really like sure that I don't know if it it, it will work. But like, hey, you can always get it and stuff a shot. So please subscribe to the channel, like the video. So right now my uh, FPS is at is at thirty. So the Nintendo Switch FPS is just straight up. 30 as you could see 30 fps you know i couldn't really see that much because i don't have the best one on the teeth but if you know what i mean you know what i mean but i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry, I'm sorry. something happened uh um, i something happened okay i think we're good you got the next it um yeah, uh, that's how I get 60 FPS. Please subscribe to the channel. I, I, I think the video. And here is step one. So step up one is to actually close the application of Fortnite. Just close it. Don't, don't even do nothing. Just close it. Now, when, when I go to your settings, go to the internet set settings. And you just test your connection. Just test it. Just test your connection. I can't show like anything in my stuff. So my connection was set successful. Now you want to go into TV settings. Let me flip the camera. Now you gotta go to TV settings. Now this should be on 72, 720p. And don't put it on four ways, don't put it on automatic. This should be on limited range. I should be doing that. Screen burn should be off. And basically, yeah, once you're done with that, launch Fortnite as you would angrily go. You've done those steps. That's just step one. That's just step one of getting 60 FPS on performance mode. Hold on. So after when you're done uh, uh, with that, I want you guys to load uh, uh, in the Fortnite. And once you uh, load, load it in the Fortnite, I'll see you uh, yeah, the next time. Someone was in the way. Uh, I, 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 I my football. I'm, I, I'm sorry for stuttering so much. It's, 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 that's my like, huge human being problem. And I can't stop it at all, so I'm sorry. So while you do this, I need you to just launch into Fortnite. Just launch into Fortnite. Once you're actually done launching into Fortnite, and when you're done, I want you guys to go ahead, go to your settings. Now don't now don't copy what I have right now. Put this on 180. Actually, that would be. Uh, put this on 1.3. Bright height is at 100. Go to uh, Portumino. I don't know how to pronounce that. And go to 10. It doesn't matter what, what the set name zone is. Just make sure you got this junk on 10. These two new settings. Back on my thing. If you want good uh, uh, graphics, turn this on. I mean, if, but but I like think, think about it. It says right here. Slower, slower internet connections, actions or devices will let limited hard drive space may experience performance issues in the game. Even downloading high high resolution structures. Turn this feature off may may help. Oh, perform, almost move and save disk.
Have friends to lose some text? Um, no. Let's read the note. A note says, Room items only appear when you have the required heart device to to enable this feature and automatic downloads are turned off. So, like, so basically, if you want good graphics, turn this on, but you'll have some lower internet connections and your being will be high. But if you really don't care, it says, Able enables Fortnite to automatically download high resolution textures, There's higher uh, resolution textures make Fortnite look more detailed. So if, if you want good graphics, graphics, have this on. If you don't care about the graphics and uh, and you want your brain to be low, and you want to perform to look good, so have this off. I would recommend had it off because, like, who I know everybody likes to grab ethics and stuff, but like, think about it. Do you really want to lower internet connections? Like, why are you playing arenas or solos or like social zone wars or just any type of zone wars only one way if you're friends? You're gonna have to lower internet connections and your edits are gonna be like slow enough and, and like. You're, you're, you're gonna be raging, so if you want that to, if you don't want that to happen, have it off. But like, all, all I'm saying, no. Everybody says power mode saving, and and off. But like, if you have the 720 on p and the limit range, and have it on because it will work. So FPS will really doesn't even matter. I mean, you can have it off or on. I really just have it off because it doesn't get if you let input delay. But like. Yeah, that's basically it. Now, once you're done with that, hop in the creative. All you gotta do is hop in the creative. That's step two. And I think that might be all of the steps. If you, you might get mobile builds like every like now and then, but like, like maybe a minute, and maybe like ten seconds. I'm sorry, I yarned. Um. Yeah, so you might, so like this performance mode on, this is going to be a great, um, it will be a great, uh, this will literally help you a lot. If you, if you, if you don't have the 720p, he is in the limited range, have power mode saving off. But if you do have those two settings, the limited range and 720p, power mode saving will work. As it should do, and you will have it on, and you will have better input delay. So like, and plus, I'll, I'll, I'll play with if the auto high sh high things like to make. So this is what if it off. Though the game is not that detailed, and the graphics are are not that best, but. Now here's with it on. Here's what if it on. Okay, for like this is a big difference. Look how like look, look how like more graphic this is. Like see how how much detailed Fortnite is if you if you have this thing on. a huge difference of why I turn this off but like I'm gonna have slower internet connections if I have it on so now I'm gonna go, go ahead and turn it back off you you, you guys can see like it actually is. now look how the difference it is like look how different this thing is if you don't see the difference I don't know how you don't like it's literally right there and I know my builds suck I'm not a god at 404 night I'm not like cough captain John I'll put up those names in the in the description but like 
it really doesn't even matter at this point. Um, thank you guys for 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 watching and how to get 60 FPS on Nintendo Switch. Your buying might look different, but like they're it, 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 it. so. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Please sub to the channel and the video. Turn on post notifications. And your boy is out of here. See ya.